Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to use Moodle's video note-taking feature. As part of any e-learning course, we usually include videos or presentations for our students to watch. Now, I don't know about you, sometimes videos can be very boring to sit and watch, and you'd rather spend your time on Netflix watching a movie. Therefore, it's important to make your videos interactive and engaging for your students. Let me show you how to achieve this in Moodle. First, we need to install some plugins. So let's go to the plugins directory. So type in Moodle, press enter on your keyboard, go to moodle.org, scroll down and click on plugins. In your search box, type in H5P and click on search. Here you will see interactive content by H5P and H5P content types. Download both of these plugins. I'll add the link to the description. So click on it, click on download, go back, click on the H5P content types, click on download, go back to your Moodle site. We can close this now. On your Moodle site, depending on which version you have, click on Site Administration, then click on Plugins, and then click on Install Plugins. Now drag your downloaded plugins to the Upload box, then click on Install Plugin from Zipped File. This will start installing the plugin. Remember in our previous videos we installed the upgrade key. If you've missed this, please click on the link that's showing now and you can watch how we add an upgrade key. Let's click on submit and then continue. Scroll down and click on upgrade Moodle database now. Let's click on continue here. You can leave all the content on its default settings. If you want to allow students to download the content, you select always. Or if you want them to embed your content, you also select always show. Okay. Click on save changes and there it's installed. Okay. Now for the second one, click on plugins, install plugins, drag your downloaded plugin to the upload box. Click on install, click on continue here on the screen. It will ask you now. Okay, so now it's installed. If it isn't installed, it will ask you for an upgrade key and you add your upgrade key. Okay, so now both plugins are installed. Let's go to our home page. So now that we've installed both plugins, we can scroll down to the course we want to add those interactive videos or the note-taking feature of the videos. You can close this, okay? Now for this exercise, we'll be using the Moodle training for course developers. I'll click on that course. Then I'll make sure that editing is turned on. Now that editing is turned on, I need to go to the specific section where I want to add uh, the note-taking feature of the videos. Okay, so I'll edit here under general. So I'll click on add an activity or resource. Now it asks me which activity you want to add and we'll be adding an interactive content. So let's click on that. Now you need to make sure under editor where you select the content. That's why it's important that you install the content type for H5P. Scroll down. So scroll down to where you see Cornell note-taking. You can even search here in the search bar. Okay, so there you see Cornell notes. Okay, you'll see here next to it, it says get. 
and this will install that particular content type. So click on install. Okay, so now it's successfully installed. Let's click on use now. And now you'll see that there's the Cornell notes. We can provide a title for our video content. So this is just for testing purposes. Oops. Okay, so this is just a testing video. We can provide instructions for the students. So let's say, uh, what's the video? And pause to take notes. Okay, so let's add a title for the video. So this is model for teachers. So now we need to select a video source. Okay, so where it says here under video source, click on the plus and this will open up. And here we can paste the video link or we can upload a video from our computer by clicking here and selecting a file from our computer. Okay, but we will be adding a video link from YouTube. Okay, so let's go to YouTube. I'll be searching for il for Moodle. Okay. So let's try and find a video. Okay, so here's a video. So let's click on the video. Let's pause it. Okay. And I want to add the link or use the link of this video. Okay, so I'll copy this link, go back to my course, and I'll paste it in here. Okay, I'll click on insert, and there's my video inserted. Okay, I can click on visuals, and I can add some poster for the cover page of my video. I can add a poster here, so I can click on the plus sign, and I can go and fetch an image for my video there. Okay, it will upload that poster. I can scroll down, I can click on playback. I can start the video by selecting autoplay video, or I can loop the video by selecting loop video. I'll leave it as is. I can also click on accessibility, and I can add tracks. Okay, then in my queue, I can modify the titles where it says queue, and this I will change to Add your questions here. Okay. Then notes I'll leave as is, or I can modify this. I can also modify the summary. Okay, so let's scroll down. I can add a grade, but I'll leave this as on its default. And under activity completion, I'll select show activity as complete when conditions are met. And I want the students to view this activity to mark it as complete. Now I click on save and display. And immediately you'll see there's my video that I've just added the link to. And here you'll see this is the Cornell type of note taking. So here's my video. Students can add notes here. They can add questions here and they can summarize the content that they are watching. So while they are watching the video, they can pause. Now they can type in the question if they have a question. They can make some notes here and they can summarize what they've been watching here. So they can summarize in this section okay so now um, you allow students to actually engage in the video they can pause they can uh, specify questions they need to ask the lecturer or they can make some notes uh, depending on the content that they are watching or they can summarize the video that they've been watching instead of just sit and watch the video through the end so this is a 19 minute video this type of note-taking feature is usually referred to as the Cornell note-taking. 
So this way the students are engaged in your content while watching your video and they can make notes, ask questions and summarize uh, what the content is about. If you want to add or edit additional settings, let's click on settings again. We'll be taken back to our settings page. We can scroll down. Click on behavior settings. And this is an option where we can show the notes on startup. Under text override and translations, we can add different or various translations. We can also add some full screen where we can modify the text that has been shown. So we can change this to another language. Also under the video, we can make modifications to the naming conventions on the video. And we can add tags or competencies. If we're happy with all the settings, we can click on save and display. And we are taken back to the video. We can go back to the course. And here you'll see the video that we've just added. So when learners enter the course, they click on testing video and they will be presented with a video as well as the note taking feature. I really hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.